Hello everyone. Welcome back to Agriculture Insight. Did you know that American farmers harvest millions of pounds of broccoli every year? All right, join us as we embark on an exciting journey into the world of broccoli. Because, we must admit, this green vegetable truly deserves our attention. Everyone knows broccoli is good for your health, packed with vitamins, fiber, and nutrients. But have you ever wondered how broccoli gets from the field to your table? It's not a simple journey at all, my friend. This journey is full of hard work, a bit of magic, and some quite amazing machinery to help along the way. So, pour yourself a cup of tea, relax, and join me in exploring the life of broccoli, from planting the seed to landing on your plate. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Salinas Valley in California is the hub of broccoli production in the U.S., providing over 80% of the national output. The mild climate and fertile land here make it an ideal place to grow broccoli. Thanks to the cool ocean breezes, the temperature here is always ideal for broccoli growth, from 18 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius. With just enough sunlight and cool air, this is truly an ideal vacation spot for broccoli. Every year, Salinas farmers harvest about 200,000 tons of broccoli, bringing significant value to American agriculture. That's a huge amount of broccoli in the U.S. This is where broccoli is nurtured in the best possible conditions, yielding high-quality heads. It all starts with a tiny seed. Broccoli cannot be grown directly in large fields. It needs careful nurturing in a nursery first. High-quality, premium seeds are prepared and sown in nutrient-rich coconut coir trays. This process is fully automated by modern machinery, ensuring each tray is filled with seeds. The seed trays are then watered and moved to the nursery for growth. These trays are then placed in specially heated greenhouses where the seeds grow into young plants throughout the winter. The seeds are watered regularly, and the trays are elevated off the ground for drainage, as too much water can harm the plants. Once watered and kept in greenhouses, all broccoli plants need is sunlight to grow. About two months later, when the seedlings are strong enough and the spring weather warms up a bit, the broccoli is ready to be planted out in the large fields. At this point, the soil for growing broccoli also needs to be well prepared. Imagine preparing for a big party. You wouldn't lay out food on a dirty table, right? The soil for broccoli must be nutrient-rich, well-drained, and free from uninvited guests, like weeds. This is when modern technology and machinery come into play. Farmers use special plowing machines to till the soil and mix in fertilizer or organic material. These plows are like a giant spoon, stirring everything up and preparing the soil for the seeds. For broccoli, a soil depth of about 15 to 20 centimeters is ideal for healthy growth. At this point, the farmers use a highly advanced planting machine. This tool is like a robotic gardener, but much faster. The machine places the young broccoli plants into the soil and secures them with a smart planter. The space between the plants is kept quite wide to allow the broccoli to grow into mature and healthy plants. The use of machinery also plays a significant role in improving the uniformity of the crop. Each planting machine costs about $100,000 equal to the price of a Mercedes car. Investing in agriculture is also very expensive, but the results help farmers have crops with outstanding productivity. Not far from one farm, another farmer couldn't afford the latest equipment and had to settle for a semi-automatic machine. 
the operator gently places the seedlings into the machine, which automatically sets them into pre-dug holes in the soil. The integrated mechanical system in the machine ensures the right spacing and depth for each plant, optimizing root development and the growth of the young plants. The machine also has the ability to automatically backfill soil and press it around the base, ensuring the plants are firmly secured in their new environment. Caring for broccoli is just as meticulous and detailed. American farmers often use irrigation systems to provide enough water for the broccoli. These systems can range from simple sprinklers to huge rotating irrigation systems that can move across the fields. Rotating irrigation for broccoli is like serving each guest a handcrafted cocktail. Instead of a torrent of water, each broccoli plant enjoys a gentle rotation of water, ensuring each one gets just the right amount of moisture without being drowned. This system is very effective, promoting healthy, uniform growth and conserving water compared to traditional watering methods. Sprinkler irrigation system is also combined to water broccoli. Its cost is also much cheaper than pivot irrigation system. And when it comes to pests and diseases, that's when technology really shines. Pesticide sprayers are large machines that help protect crops from harmful pests. But don't worry, these machines are very precise, targeting only the unwanted pests while the beautiful broccoli plants are left unharmed. Alongside traditional machines, drones are also used for spraying pesticides. Over the fields of broccoli, fertilizer drones fly, gently distributing nutrient-rich granules, like artists painting strokes on the lush green canvas of nature. Weeds also need to be controlled regularly. Farmers use machines to weed broccoli without harming the plants. This machine significantly reduces manual labor and increases productivity, making it an essential tool for modern broccoli farming. After about two months of maturation in the fields, the broccoli heads begin to show, uniform in their deep green color. When they reach a diameter of four to eight inches, it's time to harvest. The harvest of broccoli is when things really get lively in the fields, especially when it comes to bringing these beautiful green heads from the farm to the store. There are two main methods of harvesting. Farmers can harvest manually with the help of conveyor belts or use machinery. Each method has its own unique appeal. So join us as we explore each method in detail. Harvesting broccoli manually, but with the aid of a conveyor belt, is a perfect blend of human effort and technology. Farmers, armed with sharp shears, walk along the broccoli rows like skilled gardeners, meticulously inspecting each head with high focus. When they find a broccoli head that has reached the ideal size, they gently cut it from the stem. However, the distinctive feature here is the mobile conveyor belt running right alongside them. After cutting, the broccoli doesn't need to be clutched tightly or piled at their feet. Instead, it is placed directly onto the conveyor belt attached to a slowly moving tractor. The conveyor takes on the task of transporting the broccoli to a large container at the back of a truck, minimizing the need for manual labor. This system not only makes the work easier, but also optimizes productivity, ensuring each broccoli head is handled carefully and quickly. For large fields or when farmers want to save time, a harvesting machine is the optimal choice. Imagine this as a miraculous machine that can harvest rows of broccoli in the blink of an eye. The harvesting machine rolls across the field with mechanical arms like giant fingers, gently gripping each broccoli plant at the base. Then, a decisive cut separates the plant from its roots and lifts it onto a separate conveyor belt. This conveyor belt moves the broccoli to an on-machine sorting area. Here, farmers wait to inspect each broccoli head and remove any unnecessary outer leaves. The process is very quick and efficient as they continue to move along the conveyor and into a container at the back of the truck.
Beside, robotic broccoli harvesting represents a breakthrough in modern agriculture. The machine is equipped with smart sensors that precisely identify broccoli heads that have reached the ideal size and ripeness. Upon detection, the robot moves to the broccoli heads and automatically cuts them from the stem quickly and gently, also removing any unnecessary leaves. All harvested broccoli is then transported directly into a container, ready for the next sorting and packaging stage. After broccoli is harvested, it undergoes an immediate cooling process, using crushed ice to preserve its freshness and quality. This method, known as hydro-cooling, involves packing the broccoli in containers filled with ice to rapidly lower its temperature. The ice not only helps retain the vegetable's vibrant green color and crisp texture, but also prevents spoilage by slowing down enzymatic activity and bacterial growth. This step is crucial to ensure the broccoli stays fresh and nutritious during transportation to markets and consumers. Beside, after harvesting, the broccoli heads begin their journey at the processing plant. With the first step being sorting, broccoli heads are placed on a conveyor belt where workers carefully inspect and sort them based on size, color, and quality. Only the freshest and most uniform broccoli heads continue to the next step. The broccoli heads are trimmed to remove excess stems, ensuring they meet size and shape standards for packaging. This step also helps maintain uniformity for easier handling and presentation. Larger broccoli heads are chopped into smaller florets using precise cutting machines, or can also be packaged directly. The processed broccoli is then carefully packed into airtight bags or containers to preserve freshness. These packages are sealed and labeled, ready for distribution to markets, direct delivery to supermarkets by truck. Alongside broccoli, cauliflower is undoubtedly a familiar sight at your dining table, right? Achieving a perfect head of cauliflower is a challenging process for farmers. The cultivation and care of cauliflower are very similar to that of broccoli, with no significant differences. Cauliflower has a longer growing period than broccoli, about three months. It features a creamy white, round, dense, and firm head. Let's see how it differs from broccoli at the harvesting stage. Harvesting cauliflower manually, but with conveyor belt support, is a perfect combination of human precision and modern technology. Farmers, wielding sharp knives or shears, move down the rows of cauliflower like fruit sculpting chefs, inspecting each head to ensure they have reached the perfect size and pure white color. Once a standard head is found, they gently cut it from the stem. The highlight of this process is the mobile conveyor belt running alongside them. After cutting, the cauliflower heads are not piled at their feet or carried on shoulders. Instead, they are placed directly onto the conveyor belt attached to a slowly moving tractor. The conveyor transports the cauliflower heads to a large container at the back of a truck, reducing manual labor and ensuring smooth, gentle transportation. This system saves time and effort while ensuring each head of cauliflower is handled carefully and cleanly, ready for the journey from the field to the consumer's table. Cauliflower can be packaged directly at the farm. Here, on large conveyor belts, graders on trucks receive the cauliflowers and cut off the excess leaves, then directly package them with packaging and arrange them neatly into boxes. Some other conveyor harvesters can directly divide the cauliflower into small pieces with a specialized cutting part, making the harvesting process easier. The process of mechanically harvesting cauliflower is completely similar to that of broccoli. The machine has a component that gently grips each cauliflower plant at the base. A decisive cut then separates the plant from its roots and lifts it onto a separate conveyor belt. The process is very fast and efficient. So. 
you now have an overview of how American farmers plant and harvest millions of tons of broccoli and cauliflower each year. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to explore more fascinating facts about the world of agriculture. Goodbye, and see you in the next videos.